Hello, I'm Mary, and welcome to the Tartan Topiary. On this channel, I always feature a book on the topic of interior design or gardening, and often share ways that this book has inspired me or general musings of life. Come sit and relax while we look at Jake Arnold, Redefining Comfort. Jake Arnold is originally from London. He now lives in Los Angeles, which is also the location of his full-service design studio. He has led successful collaborations with brands such as Crate and Barrel, Lulu in Georgia, and Parachute. His work has been featured in publications, including the New York Times, El Decor, and Architectural Digest. Arnold has built an extensive portfolio of both residential and commercial spaces. This book was released September 5th of 2023 and quickly rose to the number one selling design book on Amazon and has earned him a place on the AD100 list. Arnold integrates many of the traditions of his English upbringing with the relaxed luxury of a contemporary California lifestyle, which can be described as a warm minimalism while being simultaneously chic and serene. This book features nine projects from sprawling estates in California to seaside homes in Florida, whose interiors reflect the seductive combination of elegance, rich texture, and color palettes that are soothing and calm. Arnold describes his creativity and his ability to make people feel good as his superpower. Working with a primarily neutral palette, Jake's approach to interiors marries ambience and sensuality with warm, yet paired back decor. His rooms give textures center stage to create immersive spaces that are both tranquil and subdued. Arnold writes, my philosophy has always been to make spaces that improve and enhance the life of anyone who starts and ends their day in them. When you are immersed in a space, it must be somewhere that allows you to feel good and to feel well. At an early point in his life, Arnold felt suffocated by his surroundings, and he stated, I suffered from really bad depression. It was not a place where I wanted to be. The experience sparked a significant shift in his perspective, and while visualizing the life he wanted to pursue, he felt a kind of spiritual awakening 
and began to design for those in a similar situation and studied how surroundings have the power to ease and soothe the mind, body, and soul. Many of Arnold's clients begin with a home that is new and stark, and the designer finds a way to give them character and warmth without making it overwhelming to the eye. He has a knack for creating something cool and unique, but also warm, livable, and tranquil. Jake Arnold has definitely mastered the use of juxtaposing both light and shade to create mood and comfort. Jake Arnold, Redefining Comfort, written by Jake Arnold. This book is 256 pages. It is published by Rizzoli, and it retails for $60. I received a package this week that I'm very excited about, and I thought I would share it with you. Between my daughter's business, she's a wedding planner and a florist, my hobbies, and my husband's interests, we invested in a laser engraver. It's an Algo Laser Alpha, which is a 22-watt laser engraver, and we couldn't be happier. And just in case this is something that might interest you, I wanted to take a few minutes and review the Algo Laser and also offer my viewers a discount code. It arrived partially assembled, and I'll be honest, I was a bit apprehensive about this because I am challenged when it comes to assembling products. I'll admit that. I wanted to be very careful with this and it did take me about an hour and a half, but I was able to do it without any help. Although Algo Laser does offer support, and my husband was on standby as well. By visiting their website, I was able to choose which laser would be perfect for us. Not only does it engrave, but it offers incredible cutting ability with a dual core CPU and advanced second generation COS technology. Simply put, this means it delivers a significant boost in speed with a 50% improved energy efficiency. And it offers a 10 times 
faster actual engraving speed than most other laser engravers. The Alpha 22 comes with an air assist, which blows smoke away from the laser to provide a sharper engraving end result. The only software that I had to install, and my husband did this, was from Lightburn. This enables his computer or my computer to talk to the laser and deliver monograms or pictures or anything else that I want to engrave. It is system supported by Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, and web-based. This is a leather handbag that I decided to experiment with. After finding the monogram style that I preferred, that image was sent directly to the Algo laser. After I placed the bag where I wanted the monogram, I hit one button and then it began to do its work. And this is when the fun really began. I found items made of metal, glass, and wood, and I'll share some of the projects that I completed. This is a picture frame that is going to hold a special photograph. My son was seven years old when he caught his first fish. This will commemorate the date so that we can always remember this special day. There are some safety guidelines that should be followed, and it comes with safety goggles, which should be worn at all times when working with the laser. It begins with a blue light, which indicates where the engraving will be placed on the item you are engraving. The Algo laser is equipped with flame detection and gyroscope sensors and will turn itself off if any flames or abnormal motions are detected. When the laser begins, the user is alerted by a beeping sound so that you are aware that the laser is in progress. Once you have chosen your picture, centered the item, and decided where the engraving will be placed, press Enter. For this wooden tray, I've decided to use the Tartan Topiary logo. I'll just use the image from my YouTube avatar. You can use images from photographs or logos. For this cutting board, I've chosen a six by six inch area and it took nine minutes to complete. The entire laser takes up a space of 27 inches by 23 inches. The Algo Laser Alpha can engrave an area as small as a few millimeters or as large as 16 by 16 inches. Overall, I was very pleased with how easy this was to use and especially with the end result. The engraving is sharp and the detail is rich. It's so much fun to play with. I will leave all the information about this Algo Laser Alpha in the description below, along with the discount information. I have some exciting news about the chaise lounge that I found discarded next to a construction dumpster. I went by my upholsterers just to get a little information. And he said, as many of you had suspected, that this item was originally caned and not upholstered. He said the condition had deteriorated to a point where he couldn't repair it, but he gave me the name of an antique restoration company with a very good reputation and expert craftsman. I paid them a visit and the work that they were doing there was so interesting. I'll share more about that next week, but I received good news. So these aren't sanded or joined yet, but uh, that's basically what, yeah. it, what it would be if, if we sanded a bit, get the uh, sun grating off the... 
he said that it was made of teak and estimated it to be from the mid to late 1800s. He said that it indeed could be restored. He's working on an estimate, but also mentioned as a side note that it would not be cheap. I'm pretty invested in saving this piece, so I'm going back on Monday to get his estimate and any other details that he can add. He also provided me with this photograph of a chair that is very similar to mine. This piece was also originally caned, but during the restoration process, the owner decided to have it upholstered and painted. I think it turned out beautifully. The restoration specialist did mention some things about teak that I was completely unaware of. Teak possesses natural water resistance. It's expensive and highly sought after for high-end furniture, flooring, and for the fitting out of yachts. For ethical reasons, the US, Canada, UK, EU, and Switzerland have all placed sanctions on teak. The import and the sale of the needed wood to replace any pieces of this chaise lounge is illegal. He said any of the teak beyond repair would be replaced with mahogany. While Thailand and Vietnam do produce teak that does not fall under this category, it is very difficult to decipher from the two. So he prefers not to trade in either. I'll keep you posted on the progress, and I hope you will join me next week as we look at Ralph Lauren, A Way of Living, written by Ralph Lauren.